over the past few days there's been new leaks of heroes that are named within game files and dota and it really points towards that there's three new heroes that are going to be added to dota and maybe even more and this is really exciting stuff and i've been doing a lot of research into it and it seems very plausibly true now and it's not just jumping to conclusions so the first hero which seems the most plausible is called valkyrie and if we look up what Valkyrie is, it's part of Norse mythology and a Valkyrie is one of a host of female figures who choose who may die in battle and who may live. Now this seems very close towards teaming a hero, the geographical region where TI is on. So if we go back to last year, TI9, it was on in China and we got Void Spirit which is very thematically around you know, maybe China not a little bit kind of and it, this year it was supposed to be Sweden which Norse mythology is kind of like that geographical region as well so old concept art from an ex-employee of Valve has a picture of a girl holding a sword this seems like so close to what Valkyrie is and even there's this goes further where the names of the abilities match the concept art we have Celestial Blade Ferrer Sword, Luminous Blade, and Martyry Blade. Uh, these all talk about like a sword, and in particular, we have Freyr's Sword. So, Freyr was also part of the Nord mythology, which is a ruler of peace, fertility, rain, and sunshine. Basically, a badass. And his sister was his female counterpart called Freyja. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing this right because <laughs> uh, I can't do this. It, last video I did this, people were just telling me I pronounced everything wrong. But anyways, uh, she was the goddess of love, fertility, battle, and death, which really clicks really close towards what Mars is as well. So the, there's like plenty of other abilities. There's 15 abilities in total and 7 talents. Now, all heroes in Dota have 8 talents and only like 4 to 6 abilities, except in a few heroes like Invoker. So a lot of these abilities may not actually be in Dota, like may not actually be in the final version. So the second hero is called Vampire and this is not necessarily going to be the name in the final version of the game but it suggests towards the design or team of the hero that's usually what like Valve used some sort of code name for the hero. So the closest thing I could find was a Draugr and this is a creature of Nordic mythology which is similar to a vampire, though the original Norse meaning is the word ghost. Now, this falls really close as well to a concept art that this ex-employee had, where we have a ghost with two swords, and there's even one variation of the concept art with wings, which then applies very like near to one of the abilities named Take Wing, and another ability called Take Wing Cancel, which is essentially toggle on flying, toggle off flying, something similar to what's there with Night Stalker. There's also some talents pointing towards buffs that would happen at nighttime, so the day night cycle would affect this hero as well. As well as that, we have the ultimate called uh, Vampirism or Vampiric Rage. These are two different ones. Maybe they're just trying out different types because there's again 13 abilities and i don't know like a bunch of talents like 14 of them 13 actually so like that's a lot of abilities and talents that are unused that are not going they're going to be like ripped away before they're put into the game now the third hero is puppet master now it seems to be that this hero could be heavily inspired by puppet master in heroes of newart we ended up seeing in the past that vector targeting was added to dota which Prior was a concept that was like a feature within Heroes of Newart as well and seemed to be heavily like translated over into Dota. Now some could say that this is just Aghanim from Aghanim's Labyrinth but there's some information there that is going to specify that it may not be Aghanim. So there's a responses from Mars. Wait, I don't see any strings. Especially that voice line that's about strings makes it sound like that you're talking about someone pulling strings. When we look at the abilities, we start to see stuff about strings and pulling them as well. So it's very plausible that this hero is going to be adding new mechanics to Dota entirely. Now what will turn your head on a lot of this is that nothing from Valve comes in trees. 
Where's Half-Life Tree? Where's TF Tree? Dota Tree? Is there anything that could ha left for Dead Tree? Nothing comes in trees. Everything stops at 2. So what I think is that Valve will release 2 heroes before the end of the year. And then at some time, maybe let's say in March, they will release 2 more heroes. And what's the 4th hero? So as mentioned Tree already, I think the 4th one might be Aghanim himself. And the reason why, like this is just theory, but Valve do not put that much effort into their events especially stuff like the winter or summer event in the past they're relatively like not that much effort like the year beast has its own 3d model for it but it really seems that like why would they put so much time and effort into building a hero model that's so highly polished and has lots of custom animations as well as voice lines it makes a lot of sense that it's going to be added agonim himself added as a hero down the line within probably the next 12 months or so so there is other heroes that are named in the game files called Bruiser, Corpse Mother, Grendel, Hoplite and Peddler. Now these ones really seem just unfinished heroes that maybe started out with something but didn't turn into anything in the end and are just scrapped completely. And I think Aghanim might be in a similar place except that because he has everything like so well put together lore wise and voice lines and stuff it'll be more likely that Aghanim's abilities for his hero in game is simply just not finished yet now there is two other heroes that seem a lot more interesting that were named in this game file one was called mouse and another one called rat king now this could literally be the same hero but it got renamed from mouse over to rat king so we have voice lines from snapfire and void spirit quiet as a dead mouse I'll recall you as a minor inconvenience, which is one step up from a pest. That really point heavily towards the fact that this is some sort of mouse or rat hero. So the other hero that has some importance is called Sea Mystic. Now this hero has a bunch of abilities that are water themed called Big Fish, Bubble, Liquid Courage, Soothing Moisture, Wave and Whirlpool. Now you see that they're very water based. Now as part of the 7.00 patch there was a comic with Monkey King that showed uh, kind of like this blue guy spitting water into Monkey King's face. I don't know about you but this really points heavily towards the start of development of this hero. Maybe we're seeing this uh, big jump towards Valve putting out a lot of heroes over the next year or so. So tell me down in the comments what you think of the idea of Valve adding potentially three or more heroes within the next year. Like currently they've been adding two every year and like bringing it up more could be pretty exciting in my opinion. Now before I finish the video I want to debunk some of the other heroes that were named within files that people said oh there's 19 potential heroes. That's a little bit too much because realistically these other names are just look like unused Agnum Labyrinth units and bosses. So for example there's one called Fighter Monk and this really just seems like the Void Spirit boss in Agnum's Labyrinth. As well as that there's a Toad which is Snapfire's bonus round of hopping. There's two other bosses that seem to be unused called Squirrel and Staging Viking. Staging Viking could have just been like the Omni Knight boss or something like that. And the Squirrel seems to be something that was like probably like the round 6 or round 11 bosses as an extra variation to throw in there but got scrapped. Now there's also Fairy which just seems like Dark Willow and Zephyrus which seems like the Roshan level I think on stage 16 that Roshan is on the Zephyrus boss and the last one which is the only one that's relatively interesting is called engineer and this also seems like an unused boss however there's a voice line and how the abilities are named they're all about like building stuff uh, the snapfire voice line goes like this so have you thought about adding some black powder to every design and the uh, black powder refers to explosives so it you know, that seems like really close and that's an unused voice line as well it's not used for any other hero so you know, i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more dota content like this make sure you subscribe